Well, I've made it to Nordcap, and at the beginning I posed a question to myself. Was it about the journey or the destination this time? I thought it might be the destination, but actually now I'm here. Welcome folks, Nick here. This is day 30 of our trip and today we should reach Nordcap. It's about 150 miles away. Yesterday we did uh, 466 kilometers, which is, I don't know, 280 miles or something. Uh, but today the sun's out, it's looking great. The reason the sun is out is because I've got all my liners in my jacket and trousers. I'm gonna leave it that way, just <laughs> not to jinx it. But the campsite that I'm at, Alta Camping, very nice, it's got a sauna, good facilities, and right by this river. What's not to like? See you on the road. We've left Alta, which was the town where the campsite, the Alta River Camping, it was called, which was a nice, well-equipped site. And I've topped up with fuel and picked up a couple of pastries for breakfast, which I have consumed. And just looking at the what's next or coming up next on the Carmen it says that the next fuel stop is 68 or 67 kilometers so just got to bear in mind that fuel stops might be fewer and far between if you come this way personally I was okay I'd just done under 300 kilometers so could have done much more than another hundred but just want to be safe Scenery changing now, we're leaving the fjords behind. Getting more rugged. This time you souvenir shop. I admire these cyclists cycling to Nordcap all over the place. It's a long way, regardless where you come from. Nordcap, 177. Thirty-five kilometers further than my Garmin thinks it is. Whether they can be seen or not on the GoPro, there are houses just sort of scattered up on the hillside there. And you wonder how did they end up here? Do they have a shop, post office? Just arrived at the town of Skadi. Skadi, S K A I D I. Still about 150 kilometres, 100 miles thereabouts. From Nordcap. Fuel stop. Don't know where I want to fuel stop. I'm gonna just see how far the next fuel is. Okay, so oh, 23 kilometers, so not that far. Not 
agree with what they have to say, but it's a hot dog chicken and a hot chocolate. And for a little while anyway. See you on the way. Oh dear, empty. Hmm. I made a bit of a bad decision. These things happen. I've travelled uh, 120 kilometres and the previous petrol station was 23 kilometres back had petrol. This one I thought well I'll come here and fill up because it's 23 kilometers closer. Unfortunately it's got no petrol. The next petrol station is 95 kilometers so if that's in the same situation I'll be scuppered I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to decide, do I go back the 23 and back the 23 again? So that's 20 minutes each way. I think I prefer to do that than risk another one out of petrol. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah. What a silly thing to do. There we go. Well, here we are, back at the petrol station where I got that hot dog. This time getting fuel. And... Uh, just want to make sure that I've got as much as I need. I wasn't particularly expecting anything. But then, this was sort of unexpected. I don't know why, because I wasn't expecting anything. Beautiful. A lovely coastline. very nicely constructed tunnel 3.8 kilometers it's not hewn out of the rock as such or if it is it's uh, coated it's very uniform concrete tube type thing wasn't expecting to see this in the road conditions it's fabulous I can't imagine really that there's that much traffic coming up this way. Here are. The other side of that tunnel. A beautiful view. Definitely feeling cool here. The waters as I've been driving around these roads. Crystal clear, beautiful. But they're cold though. Onwards and upwards, still 100 kilometers to go. Such a lovely day. Just a gorgeous temperature for riding. Not too hot, not too cold, just lovely. This is a super road, a bit bumpy. It's just hugging the coastline. Beautiful. Well, you certainly won't see this with the GoPro. I've tried to take some photos, but I'm not even sure that they'll come out. But down there are a pod of what well, I think are orcas feeding. Every now and again, they look small, but you just get the dorsal fins coming out. Yeah, you won't be able to see anything from here. 
I did go down a fair way and then they started heading out. So I gave up, came back, and now they've come back in again. Yeah, never mind. I came round a corner and there in the road was some elk or something and I thought oh I'll turn on the GoPro and the GoPro battery was flat and I thought never mind I've got the Insta the SD card was full brilliant but there's a herd of them all around this lake a bit far away to see and this tunnel is 6.87 kilometers. It said select a low gear due to the fact it's a steep slope. There you go. Two hundred and seventy three meters high, but I'm still above the cloud. Nord yeah. cap. Five hundred meters. Hello. Parking and the outside is free. If you want to go into the visitor centres, it's 300 and something krona, which is about 25 pounds, I suppose. All the bikes are up there. Well I've made it to Nordcap and at the beginning I posed a question to myself was it about the journey or the destination this time? I thought it might be the destination but actually now I'm here no, I think it's still about the journey it's been a, a lovely journey destination yeah. it's, it's a, uh, a tick in the box I suppose but if you can get here, do beautiful roads and routes um, anyway I'll just leave you to it Well, that was Nordcap. Heading off now, I've put into my destination on SatNav because you have to put something in. 
uh, Helsinki and it's saying 1,521 kilometres, uh, just about 1,000 miles. I won't be doing that today. It's quarter to seven in the evening now. I did spend time in the centre, had some coffee and a snack. But now, I'll head off on the E69 until I see something suitable camping-wise. Well, that's it. Job done. Nordcap visited. But it's not just dash home now. It's back through Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, that way round, Poland. Now that just looks odd. Looking down onto the clouds. It does look like cotton wool stuffed in there. Almost make out a rainbow. of light coming through. This really is a great road. Morning, Zag. So we're heading back to should we just go to this one which is only three three kilometers away anyway so anyway this far north how often are we going to be here scars back when they say camping they mean cabin You stay that side, I'll stay this side, and we'll be fine, okay? Nobody do anything silly now. You're doing something silly. We've passed the route back to Nordcap now, so it's counting down now, 1509 kilometres. As I added that little bit when I went back to see that other town or village. So this is now sort of the second part. It's not homeward bound, it's just the second part. Let's see where it takes us. What a road this is.
sami vědět. Lots of convoys out past a few flocks of cyclists, a little bunch, and now four by four things with the ATVs or whatever they're called. Filling up again. It's over a hundred and something or other kilometres since the last fill up, so. We've done 193 kilometres since the last fill up and just took six litres. Let's go and find a campsite or somewhere suitable to stop for the night anyway. My preference is a campsite because they've got showers. It's just gone 9.30 and uh, I found a campsite. Reception is closed. My phone died. Uh, but they've got a instructions about how you um, check in late. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to do. Right. It's quite a nice little site. So that brings us to the end of day, I don't know, 30. Uh, got to North Cap, which was great, 444 kilometers today. Uh, saw some reindeer, they weren't elk. I saw some porpoises, you won't have seen them, but I don't think they were all cut. Um, but all in all, a lovely day, the sun shone, beautiful roads, the, uh, the E69, fabulous. Anyway, um, Tomorrow we're off towards Finland and heading down towards Helsinki. Anyway, what that leaves me to do is say bye for now.